Well, they are relocating the 53 residents here at a rate of about 10 residents each day. So far, four residents have died. Fox 61 arrived to capture the transport of one of the Three Rivers residents. There's no roadmap for this. 17 of the residents at Three Rivers are currently COVID positive. They're being taken here to a COVID recovery wing at Riverside Health and Rehab in East Hartford. The COVID negative residents will be able to choose a new home. There is no shortage of beds. Nursing home residents already have endured a great deal of stress related to the COVID-19 pandemic and the added stress of transfer and discharge to other facilities, while it can be done successfully, is something that we have to watch very carefully. The unprecedented discharge came after the state appointed Kate Sachs, the temporary administrator. With 20 years of experience riding the ship at more than 30 distressed homes, it didn't take her long to determine the problems were too big to fix. It took me uh, about 30 hours on site to realize that the building blocks of compliance were not present on site. Connecticut's long term care ombudsman thinks it could be criminal. I did make a referral to the state's attorney's office to have them look at both the company, the facility, as well as the staff member who, in my opinion, proceeded in a reckless manner when um, working one while not feeling well and two, not appropriately using all infection control measures. The facility is owned by JACC Healthcare. They also operate another facility in Willimantic. In a statement, they told Fox 61, quote, our priority now is acting safely and swiftly to relocate our residents to other homes, working closely with their families and loved ones. SEIU, the union that represents nursing home workers, called the decision to discharge residents, quote, disappointing and said dozens of frontline workers who were brave enough to keep showing up daily may face job loss. The nursing home infection eventually spread to Bacchus Hospital, infecting at least nine workers. And it's important to know that DPH did not revoke JACC's operating license. So technically the building itself has not been shut down, but right now it's unclear how it would continue to operate when there's no residents inside. One possibility is that it would be used as a COVID recovery center under new management. Reporting in Norwich, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.